hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will learn how to divide a line and angle into some equal number of parts in engineering drawing many a times you face a situation where you have to divide a particular line into some equal number of parts so in this video we will learn that general method how to divide a line into some equal number of parts so the problem statement is let's say how to divide a 97 millimeter long line ab into seven equal parts now we know if we divide 97 by 7 so we will get some fractional value right so before starting let's understand what is list count so list count is nothing but a minimum distance that you can measure using particular instrument so if you have observed that in general uh, general scale which is used for drawing purpose it has a list count of one millimeter you can measure minimum distance of one millimeter using that particular scale similar way um, many other instruments like vernier calipers has a list count of 0 0.02 millimeter so using that particular instrument we can measure up to 0 0.02 millimeter right so general scale have a list count of one millimeter that means if we divide 97 by 7 we will get approximately 13 point some values right so we cannot draw particular line and divide into seven equal parts right so that's why we have to use this general method for that purpose so let's see how to draw how to divide particular line into seven equal parts let's first draw the 97 millimeter long line ab so this is our main line ab uh, also represent using dimension line so this is our dimension line 97 now to divide this line ab into seven equal parts we draw another auxiliary line ab dash at an angle less than 30 degree so ab dash is our auxiliary line now we have to select this dimension in such a way that that AB dash can be divided into seven equal parts and it should be more than 97, right? So if we consider uh, the uh, dimension that is more than 97 and it could be divided by seven, so that is 98. 98 can be divided into seven equal parts, uh, 14 millimeter each division will be there. And another higher dimension, 105 millimeter, so 105 millimeter can also be divided into seven equal parts so each division will be of 15 millimeter so i have selected our uh, 105 millimeter as a auxiliary line length a b dash so divide this a b dash into seven equal parts 15 millimeter each so this is my auxiliary line now join the end of the auxiliary line and our main line b b dash join this line b b dash using roller scale so join this line using roller scale now using roller scale we have to draw a parallel line parallel to this uh, uh, b b dash line and passing from this point six days five days four days three days respectively so this way we have to draw a parallel line parallel to our this b b dash and draw another a projection line similar way draw all the projection line so what we are doing over here actually we are projecting the point 7 dash on our main line ab similar way we are projecting the 6 dash on our main line 6 so that's why all this inclined line are nothing but a projection line this is called a dimension line so this way we can divide any line into some equal number of parts. I hope you understand the concept. Now let's say how to divide angle of 70 degree into four equal parts without a protector. So many a times also you have to divide a particular angle into some equal number of parts. So in that case you can use this method. So here it is a four equal parts. We know that how to bisect an angle. So if you haven't watched that video, you can click on this I section and watch that video. And after watching that, you can continue with this video. 
so 70 degree we have to divide into four equal parts so let's first draw the line at an angle of 70 degree so let's say angle a o b is a 70 degree now o is a center first we will bisect angle a o b right so the method you already know o is a center and any random radius draw an arc that will cut o a and o b at d and c now you got two point c and d again c and d as a center and any random radius which is more than c d draw an arc that will intersect at some point e now join this point with o so now we have divided our 70 degree angle into two equal parts right similar way again let's divide this angle c o e into two equal parts and angle e o d into two equal parts so that way we will divide whole angle into four equal parts again same procedure c as a center and more than c e as a radius draw an arc e as a center more than same radius draw an arc and intersection point will give you the bisector of angle c o e and similar way e and d as a center any random radius draw an arc and intersection will give you bisector of angle e o d so this way we can divide angle into four equal parts i hope you understand the concept now it's a practice time for you so divide an angle of 120 degree into 12 equal parts without a protector so you you have to draw it using compass only you have to divide 120 degree angle into 12 equal parts so using compass so you have to bisect angle six times so that you will get 12 equal parts i hope you understand the concept do like share and subscribe for such a more content and we'll see you in the next video